Hey, hey, what's up? How you doing today? I'm going to show you how to, excuse me, did a tune-up on my friend's uh, Ford Taurus with the 3 liter, 3.0 liter. I can't remember if it was the third or fourth generation. I think third was 95, mid-1995 to 99, and then 2000 to 2007 was the fourth generation. But <clears throat> let too much, that's what I get for letting too much time elapse between when I did this. But, uh, sorry, I don't have the actual car here, but um, uh, I think I learned some stuff that would be helpful. Use a 16 millimeter deep socket on these, and she let this go way, way too long. Um, she let these go, these are supposed to be gapped at 40 to 50 thousandths, I believe. Double check me on that. I think the guy at the parts store just said set them on 45 or 44. But my gapper here, let's see here. A couple of these plugs went up to a hundred thousandths. She let it go for so long. And if you can tell, um, there's not much left of that electrode in there. Um, but anyway, so that was one of them. That was another one of the hundred thousandths ones. But on my gap tool, I don't know if we can see this or not. This one, it goes up to a hundred thousandths right there. This one here went up more, and I measured that with my micrometer. That's like a hundred and ten thousandths right there. So, anyway. I guess better late than never, but that was way, way too late. So, but anyway, um, use these if you can. They're a little bit more accurate, easier to use. Than Sometimes you have to use these. But anyway, they're both cheap. So, but anyway, on this <clears throat> model, I redrew this on the back. The three plugs on the back, they kept it simple. It's just one, two, three. So it's easy, and the length, the you know, length of the wires helps helps you figure that out. But on the front, they, it's a little more confusing. So it's five, six, four. It goes, uh, you know, simple on the actual plugs. It goes four, five, six. But on the distributor, it goes five, six, four. So anyway. The original wires were clearly marked, which was nice. The new replacement ones were not, so I think I marked them just with masking tape and a Sharpie to keep it simple. But uh, this is the you know, this is supposed to be the distributor, which is not the the old school kind that rotate. You know, it's just this rectangular block here. But uh, I think I actually took some white out and marked. It's black plastic, and I marked on it with the white out and numbered the cylinders on the distributor that could help out quite a bit but anyway <clears throat> what else was going to say um, uh, I definitely use some of this good ox guard stuff with zinc in it on the very tip of the plug right there on the end and I use it there and I try to cram it also in the boot and try to get some up in there but on this one it's easy to get the metallic parts right there right inside there so but the toothbrush helps and then uh, home depot sells this stuff the gb garner bender ox guard with the zinc in it and, uh, this stuff can get it should be able to get it any parts stores permatex dielectric it's a clear kind it's not conductive but insulates real well. I use it on the white porcelain part of the plug. And I still like to use some some a little at least a little anti-seize compound on these threads because it gets so hot in there. And anti-seize is usually real high temperature. So also I needed to run this. I didn't have much time but I needed to run a tap up in there. It was rusty and the plug for the old threads and that size is uh, 14 millimeter by 1.25 pitch metric and uh, 
I had to get this at a parts store. It was like nine dollars or something like that for one tap, but um, you gotta have it. So not even Harbor Freight sells these, even in their best tap sets at my Harbor Freight anyway. So and that um, one other thing, these uh, plastic clips on these wires were real hard. Just spray them down good with WD-40 or liquid wrench, whatever, and then just take a small to medium flathead screwdriver and just have to pop them loose. And definitely, if you reuse these ones, if it doesn't come with new ones, put some uh, high temperature grease or anti-seize on there, so it's not so bad. But anyway, that's about it. Pretty straightforward. Bear with me just a second. Audio won't be too bad. I wanted to show you these guys. What happens is Mother Nature takes over on Mr. Ohm there, and uh, Mother Nature and uh, so moisture and the heat and cold and then uh, of course the high voltage of the spark plug. It uh, causes this guy to tighten his noose up a little more on that. So these, this zinc stuff helps cut down on oxidation and, and corrosion, and this kind does too. So use them both. I like to use that on the inside of connections, and this on that more on the outside. But anyway, my voice is shot. That helps.